a boat travels from point A to point B. So we have point A, we'll stroll on the north-south line, and we travel to point B at a bearing of north 82 degrees west. So we're going to start north, we're going to turn 82 degrees to the west, and that's point B. Then from point B, we're going to travel south 36 degrees to the east. So turn south, turn 36 degrees to the east, and that will take us to point C. And then what we know about point C is that point C is 15 miles south of point A. And so the question asks us to find how far our boat has traveled. So um, if we want to call perhaps this side X, the distance between B and C, and maybe this side we can call Y. And so we want to find the amount the boat traveled, which would be X plus Y. And that would give us our final answer. So to do this, we need to find some angles in the triangle. First of all, we can note that um, if this angle is 82 degrees, then a straight angle measures 180. So 180 minus 82 would make this angle equal to 98. If we look up at uh, point B here, we know that this angle is alternate interior to this angle because of these two parallel, parallel lines we have. So to find the measure of the angle in the triangle, we would take 82 degrees and subtract 36, which means this angle in the triangle measures 46. And so then to find our third angle in the triangle, we know the sum of the angles in a triangle is 180 degrees. So 180 minus 46 minus 98 gives us 36 degrees. And so now we have an angle on the side across from it, and uh, we want to find sides that are across from an angle, so we can use a lot of signs to work the problem. So let's first of all uh, find side X. And so we can find side X by saying that the sine of 46 degrees over 15, because that's the side across from it, will be equal to the sine of 98 degrees divided by x. So cross multiply, we'll have x times the sine of 46 degrees equals 15 times the sine of 98 degrees. So if we'll divide both sides by the sine of 46, 15 times the sine of 98 divided by the sine of 46 gives us 20 point um, six five zero miles is that distance. Next, if we want to find y, we can do the same process. We're going to say the sine of 46 degrees over 15 is equal to the sine of 36 degrees divided by y. So y times the sine of 46 degrees equals 15 times the sine of 36 degrees. So y is going to be equal to 15 times the sine of 36 divided by the sine of 46, which is 12.257 miles. So to get the answer to our question to see how far the boat traveled, we're going to add x and y together. So 20.650 added to 12.257 will give us the sum 20.650 plus 12.257 is 32.907 miles.